My name is Craig Schockman and welcome to Create Free Energy. And uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, installing your tabbing on the solar cells. Uh, I got these solar cells on eBay. Um, picked them up, they're 3x6, they're from Evergreen Solar. And also I got the tabbing as well and, and uh, the flux pan and the butt tabbing and the uh, um, solder. I got the solder. I got a, kind of a kit situation plus I got the uh, the uh, uh, silicone stuff that goes over the top of the cells to uh, seal everything for moisture and stuff. And but today I want to talk to you about putting the tabbing on there. And uh, a couple things. One thing is uh, the iron that I use, the solder iron. Uh, I kind of I went out and bought me this uh, small 25 watt iron, and that's not enough. It's not hot enough. It doesn't get hot enough. It will not melt the tabbing to attach to the cell itself. So uh, what I did is I bought this one, and then. I went out and I bought this uh, 40, 40 watt one, which worked really well. Um, it heated up. It, it, it actually melted this, um, but it, quite, it was, wasn't quite enough because um, I was still having problems with uh, the tabbing coming up and, and uh, some uh, cold soldering joints there and stuff like that. And, and uh, that will be a problem because you've got to get it to stick here or it's going to come up. So what I did is I went out and bought this big one. It's a, it's a gun. It's a 100, 100 watt gun. It gets very hot. It heats up pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, first of all, I need to uh, put my flux on here. So, and uh, if you're looking to buy some material, buy one of these pans. I think they're great. Um, they're uh, they're very easily to use, and I mean, there's no mess. You're going to get it all over yourself. It's cheap, so I bought one. Great. Also, wear gloves too. Wear gloves when you're doing this. So you don't get your oil on the tabs themselves. Um, it helps keep everything clean. Um, also, too, I burnt myself, so it kind of helps me from burning myself. So. All right. So what I'm going to do to here is, is I'm going to heat up this gun real quick. And uh, what I do is I kind of just test it on to see if it's hot on one of these tabs. It's getting hot. It heats up pretty quick. So. So what I do is I put my tab down first on here like so. Get it pretty straight. Um, one thing too is when you do your tabbing, you're going to want to press down on this, but you don't want to press too hard because you will break the tabs. I have the solar shell that I've broken many. I've, I've uh, done a lot there. So, okay, first of all, go right on the tab, heat your gun up, get uh, get it hot, just kind of just go straight down your tab, just like so. And it, right on there and uh, but you got to get it straight see I didn't get straight here so what I'll do is I'll kind of I can take it up here and see that's one of the things that I did wrong too is I wasn't getting my tab straight and it was really hard I found it to be hard so you can kind of melt it back up and kind of pull it off it's kind of hard don't do it so you break the cell though um, you can do it got to be really careful too. Okay. Let me do it again. Yeah. Make mistakes. You can fix it. Don't, don't, don't scare it. Down. Just be very careful. It's very brave. Let's do it again here. This time let's do it right. So put it on top here like so. Get it straight. That's what I did. Get my gun hot. And, uh, put it down on top of there like that. Kind of go straight down the tab itself. Kind of, I kind of go slow to get it straight on there. And there you go. Just like that. It's on top of it. Grab my other tab. And what I do is I straighten them out. These are already used. I kind of broke them off my cells and stuff like that because I didn't want to waste it. So, kind of crinkled up there. But grab my gun again. Get on there. Careful not to break your cell. They're not that fragile, but you can break them. Just gonna go down the cell itself, just like so. And uh, one more turn. Bounce it right on top there like that. It's kind of broken. That's okay. And there you go. It's very simple, very easy. Um, not too difficult. Do. Let's do another one. Let's do a brand new one here. 
but I did. Those were the ones that uh, kind of had to fix. So I'll do a brand new one here that doesn't have anything on it. Do a flux pin first, right down the thing. I do them both. And I grab my tabby, so straighten it out. You'll get pretty quick at this because once you get a system going, it works pretty fast. Heat it up. It takes a second to heat the gun up because it's pretty quick. It's a 100 watt gun. And just bend right down that, just like so. It's fine if it's straighter. But when it comes off the tabby too, it's, it's not so crinkly. Heat the gun up. Got a little light on this one, it's kind of cool. Move it around. You need to move the cell up to get it kind of soldered there at the top. You can move it over if you want. But I found that uh, if you have to, you want go. All nice and done and ready to go. So there you go. So go out there, get yourselves, get your tabby. And uh, um, this weekend I'm going to be putting together my I'm kind of creating a jig here and figuring out how I'm going to put this all together and some materials and I'm going to build my panel this weekend and I'll make some more videos to kind of show you what materials that I used. Um, I don't use plywood. I don't it's too much moisture in Washington to do that. So all right, well I'll be seeing you and uh, good luck and uh, stay tuned for those. Thank you.